Hello there and welcome back to a, another episode in our Noble Fate series. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been quite a bit of time since we last played it. And uh, I guess it's just because we got so busy with Nimbiborn and, and yeah, with the new update as well. But we're definitely back with this one. We are going to try and complete our little paradise kingdom over here. Right now we don't really have a lot of volunteers. Just Aubrey seems to be working for us. And I think, yeah, things are going pretty well. Our second tower is almost complete. They were struggling with, I think, rocks before. But now we do have almost 2,000 in here. So I think, yeah, they should definitely have enough. It's it's more about catching up with all the tasks that they have over here. So, for example, with building, we have 127 tasks. Dismantling, 51. Moving things around, 128. Storing, 150. So, yeah, for a colony of six or seven people, it actually takes quite a bit of time. So I think we can go four times the speed. Now, all right, so these guys are leaving. Fair enough. Now, Gap does want a cabin, and we do have one spare one right now. I just don't know if we want to give it away, because they were supposed to be our rental ones. Okay, now we could always build another one, but right now we're just trying to get our main castle ready, I suppose. Then hack wants a hundred prestige piece of upper gear. And with that, if we have a quick look over here, upper gear, we don't really have anything. Yep, so he's gonna have to wait. But what is good, uh, one second, let's um, give you the bonuses as well. There we go. What is good here is all the roof bits are now complete, it seems. Except, I think, uh, yeah, the camera is very sensitive. I do apologize if it jumps around like crazy at times. Okay, so there we go. That's the final roof piece over here. And I believe we do have access to the other sections. So I was thinking, well, we could probably do the same over here as well. Why don't we... Let's have a look. Dismantle this section here. Okay. And now for the access itself... I mean, we could make it nicer if we wanted to. But I think right now it's not really the priority. So, yeah, as we said, the second tower is almost complete. So let's uh, jump down a few levels as well. We do have some funky things happening here because we are obviously moving yeah, quite a few things around. The stalking imposters have been uh, spotted nearby. All right. It seems we do get our first raid of this episode. Yeah, I think it would be cool if there was some kind of like a actual bell or something that they can sound the alarm if if they spot or if our scouts spot that there's some raiders coming soon so that would perhaps alert everyone to stay close to the castle because for example baby dragon over there what are you guys ah oh, okay he's pretty far away but i'm sure he'll get back to our castle in time so okay we'll try and keep an eye on our guys i think we have spotted the raiders Oh, yes, we have. Okay, so you guys... Let's draft you all. Go out there. And now, if only we could find our wolf as well. Oh, yeah, something I have done here. I've set a pasture in front of our castle, and that's just for the wolves. And I have also moved in the cows, so they've got this area over here. And I'm trying to make this sort of like a grass field a little, little bit bigger as well. So there we go. The type is grass and harvest is set to never. So hopefully cows can go and graze on it. Okay, where did they go? Pretty sure I saw them like a second ago over here. Okay, there, there they are. How many of you? I think I spotted like three. Oh, they're just relaxing over there. Well, that's no good. And one of our visitors seems to be chilling out with him. Or them. Or maybe he's being held hostage. It could be that as well. Okay, not to worry, Yuna. We are on our way to rescue you. Alright, lovely. Here we go. Here's the team. Now, Michael, where are you going? Oh, okay. Of course, you can climb up and then jump down, can't you? What are you doing? Get over here, Michael. No, out here. Okay, I think we... He's having some problems over there. Now, everyone else, I think you can attack. 
I think that's the first time I've seen the Raiders sit down and chill out for a while. Our right, Michael is coming now as well, so that's good. Let's uh, turn a few of these things on. Oh no, direct hit. Okay, good, Michael. Where are you? Here we go. I think what we might do is let's turn this on as well. Michael's gonna run over there. Bowie, if you flank from that side, get over. And now... We'll jump in as well. Help our team out like a true leader. Did you get them all? I think we got them all. Oh, this one's still alive. Ah, uh, wait a second. He might be actually useful for us. Let's have a look. Unknown. Uh, never mind. Nope. We are not going to go through the pain. Or are we? No, not this time. Uh, Hack seems to be healing. Do you know what? Actually, yeah. Why don't you just make him feel a little bit better? And vitals. Let's have a look. Dies in two hours. Okay. We'll see if we can fix him up. Maybe we... Yeah, maybe we do rescue you. Dies in two days. Well, that's still not good. We can't heal you any further, can we? Okay, we'll keep an eye on you. I don't suppose we still have the cells, do we? Let's have a look. Anyone staying in here? Uh, no. Okay, we'll turn you into a cell. So that means we can go... Is anyone free? Herding wolf. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do capture metal. All right, back to three times the speed. And have we constructed some of those walls already? I think we have. Yeah, it's um, definitely not the fastest. But we're slowly but surely getting this done. And I don't think that was supposed to be the entrance. No. So we'll get these windows built up as well there we go all right so it's evening again i don't think a lot of things are gonna happen so why don't we skip this night and we'll be back in the morning all right there we go and um yeah our indoors is a little bit messy right now it definitely hurts not having four volunteers cleaning our space up as well all right let's slow down the time just a little bit actually and if we look downstairs well yeah, maybe we don't look here. Okay, so with um, this much meat around our colony, I've quickly gone around and expanded our production numbers as well. Because I think our pantry or the the storehouse can take a few more meals in there. All right, a couple of you as well. Let's set it to 10. I think that will be fine. I believe before we had access to fancy meals as well, but for some reason we might have lost someone. Because uh, right now we can't really do some of the better recipes. Yeah, so hopefully someone's going to level up soon. Let's have a look at jobs. Who's good at cooking? Oh, Bowie is actually pretty good. Yeah, why don't we set you up as a chef? Right now, what are you doing? Foraging and farming is pretty high. Okay. Then hauling, mining, ranching... No, I think we can bring it to like... It's 2-4. Yeah, farming is probably number one, even though he absolutely hates it. But we do need to keep, keep our farms going. And uh, I mean, right now, this is actually looking pretty good. We've got tons of corn, berries, grapes. And talking about grapes, are we still making some wine as well? Oh, maybe we haven't built you yet. Let's have a look. Furniture? No, it wasn't on the furniture. I think it was on the work resources okay there we go i thought we built a few okay one over here one over here so with the castle itself as well i think initially what i said was we'll try and make it look exactly the same on both sides but the more i think about it the less i like that kind of idea so yeah i do want to leave it different on this side what we will do, however, I think they've done most of the jumps over here when we still have a lot of stone. So we will most likely, or most certainly, change this up. All right, there we go. And there's little bits here and there as well. 
where we can upgrade the the walls themselves. Okay, so let's do that real quick as well. And maybe what we'll do is we'll leave this side wood to highlight how this was like the old development, how we built this before, like back in the days. And this is more like a new development. So maybe, maybe yeah, maybe they weren't allowed to upgrade it. They wanted to keep part of their history with them, how they started out. Or maybe they were just too lazy to get the job properly done. Who knows? Okay, what we do know and what we shall do over here, we'll upgrade. Let's do half as well for now, just to see how it's going to look like. And the rest seems pretty good. Yeah, we just need those tiny little walls over here to make sure no one's going to fall down. So kind of like a safety handrail, I suppose. And there we go. Okay, over here, not entirely sure. Might just leave it a couple of decorations on top. But over here, at the the highest level, I definitely want to do like another tower over here. Okay, so if we grab the walls again, let's see. What are we working with? Uh, three white, perhaps. One, two, three over here as well. When it comes to the axis itself, do we want them to run through it? Yes, we do. But we might not want to have the doors on that side. Okay, well, let's give it a try. Oh, not able to build it over there. That is fine. And we'll start out like this. Okay, probably we do want to make it a little bit higher. So why don't we do another level and maybe one more yeah i think this is now high enough to put a roof piece on on top of it and there we go all right yeah that's gonna look pretty good we could do like another walkway around the top level as well if you wanted to okay so with the central tower as well they are not going to be able to access the top levels okay let's hide the roofs and we shall go Let's go to this level first, because we do have to put a few stairs in place. Okay, so structures, and let's have a look. If we place you like so, this might be good enough. And I think indoors as well, we are okay to place the wooden floors. Alright, so that's one, I guess another stair. Yeah, that might go there again. Alright, now down one level. And let's place the next one as well. Alright, there we go. Beautiful, so we will leave you to construct this for a little bit. And whilst they are doing that side over there, let's zoom out a little bit. And that is another section that I'm not entirely happy with. How it looks, it just looks like we're missing something. So what we can do is, let's grab those walls again. We can bring you through. Okay, that's going to be our entrance, of course. So now what we do want to do, let's go to the roofs and we'll put the slightly nicer one over here. Okay, yeah. I think that's something we can be pretty, pretty happy with. Your storing is anyone building as well. Michael and meat are helping us out with that okay so that's good we can speed you up again and hopefully get some of it constructed and it seems cap is helping us out again baby dragon if you could do the same that would be fantastic oh no wait what happened in this corner did you just uh oh okay i guess you were a little bit hungry uh, feeding should always be a high priority. Uh, <laughs> I guess it goes under if we look at the jobs over here. Right, right, right. Ranching most likely. So baby dragon, that might have been... Yeah, your fault. Okay, so Ash wants to join us as well. Let's have a look. Who is Ash? You are human. I wonder if he's evil. No. Honestly, those discussions take such a long time to figure out what they are. I feel like I've done it enough already that at this stage I just kind of want to avoid just sitting there and clicking next, next, just to get them to like us. Now, something that I am 
pretty happy about is the food stockpiles that we currently have. So yeah, we got about seven years worth of food and it's only taking us, what is it now, like 11 episodes in and we finally don't have to stress out about food, which is amazing. Yeah, I think our stockpiles, let's have a look, have they cleaned it up a little bit? Uh, not really. But um, I would like at least one of them to be built as well. Okay, and quantity, maintain... I don't know, I suppose we'll do 15. That's fine, right? Reason why we want to prioritize one of them is, I think, yeah, we got some grapes on the floor and they're not gonna last very long. So let's get this done as quick as we can. Now, everyone else, what are you guys up to? Okay, so they have started changing some of those floors already. So that's good. Bowie, what are you up to? Delivering wood. Okay, so that must be for the upper floors. All right, a whole ton of pumpkins is now ready as well. Uh, ripeness 70. Okay, we should be getting some more grapes very soon. And I think everyone is learning the new recipes right now. Yeah, it does look like so. All right, let's speed up the time again. Hopefully, oh wow, Michael is going to learn it very quickly actually. And there we go, our first one is already built, which is fantastic. Uh, nice meals. Oh, okay. Stonehearth has insufficient fuel. Right, right, right. So someone is refueling you. All right, good. So we can now increase the production for nice meals as well. What about the... Oh, we can do fancy meals. Oh, of course, yeah. We changed someone over. Who was it? Bowie. Bowie's our new chef. All right, there we go. Another day has arrived. We've learned a few things. Okay. Cap has started a fight with Aubrey. Well, that's not very nice. Cap, get away. Moment in progress. Uh, what about you, Aubrey? Run away. Oh dear. Okay. Poey, you are going to treat Aubrey. Let's uh, make sure that she does not die. Five hours. Okay. I think we have enough time. 13 hours heals in one day. Beautiful. Floors seem to be going place slowly but surely. Cap is tired and starving. Okay. Right, well, why don't you go and get some food then? What are you constructing over here? Oh, you're constructing stone floors up there from below there. Interesting. Alright, where is Cap? I think it's time for you to go and get some food then because it says he's gonna die oh dear can we not force him to go and eat okay something is going on why is he not having any food eat raw pork okay there you go go and take some cap come on go and get some food okay something weird must be happening with the game because he's not moving over all right there we go i think he's eating now or are you i think what i might have to do is quickly reload the game because it seems like they're doing some funny things are happening here yeah okay now he's eating now all right okay seems like he had a good meal now uh, it might even be if we run the game on like four times the speed they start to struggle with the calculations a little bit or pathfinding I'm not entirely sure it definitely was a little odd how they were standing uh, very far from the construction and still building those floors though okay I think we're good now just let the game run at a slightly slower speed for a little while, just in case, you'll never know. And yeah, everyone seems to be moving again. Now, I think what will be probably good is to let them catch up with the work for a little bit. Alright, give you a 
bonus as well. Yeah, before we start adding anything new, but I think with with the design and how we wanted things to go overall, I think that's a yeah, that's a pretty good setup already, I'd say. Provided we get this section done over here. Uh, that's going to be nice and quick as well, as long as we do have some wood. Okay, not a lot of logs. But we're not going to harvest any more until they get the current tasks done. And yeah, we could definitely use a few more volunteers as well, since the there's a lot of stuff on the floor that could be brought in... Well, of course, harvested as well. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah, I think there's something definitely happening. They do seem to be getting stuck quite often and just stand around. All right, so you want to go there, but he's still standing here. Well, what we might do as well, I think we're pretty happy with how the colony itself is. All right, and there was recently a new update as well with the I think it was called the adventuring update or something like that where it's now possible to go let's say we pick this map over here it's it's possible to go and visit other colonies and go on like little adventures and do some missions as well so that would be pretty cool to try out yeah so we I think next time we do like a new new series on noble fates if we do it again of course if there's enough people that are interested in in seeing another one then we might you know try and put some more focus into this game as well because it is a very cool one i think for this series this will most likely be our final episode we've constructed everything that we wanted to construct and we've got the yeah defenses in place we've got some villas on the on the lake itself as well and now all we really have to do is to let the uh, construction in the middle that central tower and some roof bits as well once that is completed i think we can call it a win and close out this series as well so i'll let the game run a little bit and we'll jump back when it's done all right so whilst we were building it seems we have a bit of a monster attack as well so let's uh have a quick look how this is gonna go i think everyone's somewhere indoors or maybe not they are on the ground. Oh no, one is over here. Uh, right, right, right. Me, where are you? Maybe you can... Let's try this again. Attack this guy. Okay, off you go. And there's definitely a couple more down here. Alright, I think there's more than one. Oh yes, there is. Baby dragon. All right, if you can go and take care of this one. Yep, this one I think is sorted out now. Or someone is trying to. Okay, Poey. Go over here. And Michael, same with you as well. Oh yeah, there's quite a few all over the place. A few of them outside as well. Actually, I think we know what we need to do. Yep. Oh, wait a second. There's one over here as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So the wolf is going to take care of, I think, three of them pretty easily. Here we go. Two bites. And a third one. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a tough one. Wait a second. How many are there? Oh, someone else is shooting them as well. One of our allies, I suppose. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Go and take this guy out. Um, <laughs> baby dragon, and maybe you can go over there. I think that might be almost everything then. Oh wow, you're taking quite a few hits actually. So yeah, you're gonna have to rest for a little bit. We can't he heal you it seems. But we can go and take you out. Ah, never mind, I think it's sorted. Okay, yep. So, little monster attack. And whilst we were... Well, we haven't caught in a lot, a lot of this uh, build just yet. But I thought I'd show you a quick monster attack as well. So yeah, we're trying to carry on with this then. And we'll be back any second now. Okay, so unfortunately, this is the moment where we're going to have to end this episode over here without constructing the final tower. Because I've been sitting here for almost two hours now waiting for them to construct this little tower. And it seems whatever's happening with the game... 
as we said before as well, they sort of get stuck in a place at every, I don't know, few minutes. Then they stand there for a few hours in game time, of course. And then, yeah, so we have a lot of problems where they don't get enough sleep or food or comfort or, or light. They're not supplying things. Nothing really gets done. So unfortunately, it's getting to a point where it's just uh, it's becoming a little bit unplayable. And I don't really want to sit here and micro everything just to keep them alive and try and construct this final tower over here. So I think with a heavy heart, we are going to have to yeah close this series right about now. And I think in the future, yeah, as we said before as well, we are going to jump on the on the newest update and see what that is like when we when we are ready, of course, and if there's if there's enough interest as well. So, uh, yeah, sadly, this is going to be the uh, be the end. But uh, they I'm sure this colony will continue to thrive over here as we have been doing so far. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for following this series. It's definitely been a lot of fun and I'm very glad we finally got a full playthrough in Noble Fates as well. So it's definitely an interesting game that I'd like to try again in the future. Maybe even leave it for a while and return to this in a couple of months whilst it's hopefully or maybe had even some more updates. Who knows? But yeah, so thank you so much for following our story so far and hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next game.